Well, the first ever spacewalk by non-governmental astronauts will be at least a day late. SpaceX pushed the uh, Polaris Dawn mission's launch back, saying that the extra time allows crews to finish pre-flight checks. The all-civilian crew is aiming for a historic five days in orbit, including the first ever spacewalk during a private mission. Meanwhile, NASA has a plan to bring back those two astronauts who took the troubled Boeing Starliner to the International Space Station. But it means Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will be there for another six months. They'll return on a SpaceX capsule in February, extending what was supposed to be just a week-long mission uh, to more than eight months. There was just too much uncertainty in the prediction of the thrusters. It was just too much risk with the crew. All right, we're joined now uh, by Bill Harwood, our CBS News Space uh, consultant, to talk a little bit more about the latest here. And Bill, I remember when we started talking about this mission and that there had been problems which caused the mission to be delayed, but Boeing concluded that the problems were not significant enough and they could move forward with the launch. Uh, what concerns are there now about the Starliner and why they don't think that it would, they could bring these astronauts back? Well, really, it's not that they don't think it could bring them back. It's that they really can't be sure that it will do it safely. You know, the problems we're talking about here, the helium leaks they've had, thruster problems, all of those cropped up in the first two days of the mission. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, uh, NASA and Boeing have been working to try to figure out exactly what happened and can you count on these systems to work properly when you undock from the station and make that critical deorbit burn to get out of orbit and come home. Boeing thinks it's safe to do that. NASA concluded they just couldn't be sure, uh, and so they've, they've ruled it out. Instead, the astronauts will come home on a, on a SpaceX Crew Dragon. Now, I know we heard from the astronauts not too long ago, and they were thrilled, and, you know, the whole idea of an astronaut staying some extra time in space, mm. who wouldn't turn that down? But a few days is a lot different than six additional months. Have we heard from them since this announcement? We have not. We're hoping to have a news conference with them from the space station uh, possibly next week or shortly thereafter, uh, but we have not heard them. But, you know, what NASA tells us, and, and it's true, you know, when they take off to go to a flight to the space station, they always know there's a possibility things could change and a flight could be extended. Uh, but in this case, as you say, you know, taking off on a flight you originally expect to last a little more than a week and then ending up uh, staying in space for eight months, you know, away from their families over the holidays, you know, all of that, uh, there's no question there's a bit of a psychological burden there, but mm. these are both professional, trained astronauts. They're veteran test pilots. Uh, they have uh, long military backgrounds. And so, you know, if anybody can take this in stride, it's them. All right, Bill. Thank you very much.